Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, Episode 4, Thoughts. This episode is called I Spy. So, spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. Another episode I love. Um, yeah, so, before I dive into it, the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the Psych After Strikers, and I encourage you to do so. It's an extremely important cause. The Then there are a bunch of links to videos that help explain why it's such an important cause. And, yeah, with that, let's dive in. So, like I said, love this episode, no notes. And by that, I don't mean that I have no notes for how to improve it. I mean, my wrists are killing me. I did not take any notes on paper. So, we are going to do it based on my memory. I did only just finish watching it. Wow, Roxanne Dawson directed it. Very cool. I'm glad she's still directing. She did great on uh, Star Trek Voyager. Both directing and playing the character. Anyway, so, yeah. Um, I quite appreciated the, the, you know, relationship between Phil and... Akela uh, uh, Amador. You know, this thing of... Uh, yeah, he... You know, he feels like she... You know, he pushed her too far. Um, just in case, just so I don't forget saying, I really loved that one of the last things in the episode is Akela asking Melinda, no, I mean, what did they do to him? You know, some... Something is completely different about him since the Battle of New York. And, you know, Melinda tells part of the truth, you know, about, you know, oh, he, he almost died before the Battle of New York. And, um, yeah, I, I, you know, it's a good detail that Sky feels more comfortable in the van, which resembles her own van. She keeps calling... At first, she wants to call him Phil, and he's like, Can we not? Can we just not and say we did? And she's like, Okay, AC, which is cooler, and you are cool. Um, the... I, I... You know, like, Fitzsimmons not wanting to go into the field. Um, yeah. So, the... the I gotta say, I thought it was ESP at first as well. Like, she closes her eyes and and knows things, yeah, you know. But no, apparently, you know, it is this ocular implant. You know, it's, it's a TV show episode. They're not going to give you all the answers right up front. We, we learn them later in the, in the episode, over the course of the episode. Um, let's see, the... Uh, right, I like that we don't, by the end of the episode, know exactly who, you know, I, I have a theory or two, but I suppose, you know, I told myself I wasn't going to spoil anything MCU that came out after an episode did, so I'll hold on to my spoilers. I'm guessing we'll get an answer. <laughs> wow, one of the, one of the masked men, the actor's name is Viking. That's pretty badass. Uh, I like that when they go to Sweden, Coulson, you know, like he, he, I think he like signs of the, like signs his way in or something, you know, and, you know, he, he looks at the guy and says, talk, and that is indeed Swedish for thank you. So that's a, a good detail, you know, which Phil would know, you know, uh, so, so yeah, that's, um, that was something I quite appreciated as someone who lives fairly close to Sweden and has interacted with Swedes in the past. I like the detail that, you know, Phil is like, there's only a few women, you know, there's only a few people who could possibly do this, and you were already on the bus, so. And, uh, yeah, did not like the the joke about oh we shouldn't call it the short bus I don't like that you know making fun of yeah the the I forget what is 
some of the words for that is no longer considered acceptable and I don't want to go against that um, me mentally slow I think is is still concern. I, I don't mean to offend anyone not a conservative here now the yes so the the let's see that right the you know the the thing with you know your robot can you do that <laughs> I, I like that and the thing with you know yeah it, it turns out she's being controlled you know and that was a great like you know Melinda was like thinking no this is someone we take out this is not someone we empathize with you know and yeah it turns out you know be careful not to judge people on what they do because there might be something <coughs> excuse me there might be something going on that you don't know about um I like that, you know, the van does turn out to be a dangerous place. You know, Fitzsimmons was right about not going into the field again. Um, I, I like the thing with, you know, so you have the, ah, what's it called? He says, yeah, Ward says, you know, oh, yeah, Phil says, this guy's not still saying bang with the gun. Is she in, you know, he's like, and and Ward goes well, you know. Now if we can just teach her the difference between the safety release and the the what's it called clip clip release something like which ooh yeah that's you'll you'll wanna get, and and it's like it's not the kind of like she does need to know both of those things if she runs out of bullets. It is extremely important she is aware of the, the clip release lever, you know. It's not like he taught her something just to screw with her, and now it's backfiring. No, like, you need to know both of those things. The safety is important, and the, the clip release lever. So, so yeah. Um, and, and, you know, she's in the... Yeah, she's in the, the gun, like, okay. She, she's in the van, got the gun, okay safety and clicks it and clip slides and and you know kudos to the the i guess prop department because the thing she hits that is the you know I, I know a little bit about guns i don't support them in real life you know but in fiction yeah yeah you know and and she's sitting there with the empty gun and she goes bang <laughs> that was i i like that and let's see, I, right, I like when, when Melinda May approaches uh, Akela, you know, and, and it's this thing, you know, that, yeah, Phil knew when she said, I'll take first shift, yeah, she, he's thinking, she's thinking that as soon as Akela, you know, gets a new message, Melinda's gonna go for it and, and leave everybody else behind so she can kill her. And, you know, Melinda's standing in the room, and she's like, so, does that thing transmit audio, you know, to, to figure out? And and that's, of course, that becomes extremely important later, so that is an important bit of information for the audience also. And, yeah, it was it was a very cool fight, and I, yeah, it was, it was very clever how, like, Phil gets there right just in time, you know, she she knocks out the light, and then what is Melinda gonna do, you know, so, and Sky is adamant that they do not call it the Night Night Gun, or wait, or was it Ward? Some, someone said, you know, and the, I, I like the thing with, you know, so, Ward, there's gonna be seven of these uh, knockout bullets, you know, in case you miss, do you mean in case there are multiple assailants? So, you know, and yeah, so I I like the the intercutting between Ward with you know the the glasses that have the the camera to to imitate Akela and then Akela being you know having the the surgery done and and the thing with you know okay so I'm just. I don't have, you know, I, I can't put you under completely. I might need your, your input. So, 
oh, I'm gonna give you this enormous needle right in the eye, you know, and Achilles like, you know, grabs her. I'll, I'll do this, you know, just... And, yeah, Ward, you know, the, the, yeah, Ward and, and Sky talk back and forth as he goes on the mission, and, you know, when she says, don't look at your hand, I think that was probably more for the audience, that, yeah, she, she knows that Ward is careful by now, so that was probably, and that's acceptable. Um... Yeah, you know, the the he he gets all the way into the, you know, then there's like one left, you know, target acquired and it's like, okay, so do I do I kill, do I knock out? And then it says seduce. And you know, he even says, Oh, like Matahari. Yeah, once again not really a fan of the the joke you know, the oh, you know, a man has to pretend to be gay kind of thing. I did appreciate, you know, the, the bromance, you know, that's that's another option, you know. And he's, like, trying to appeal to him by saying, oh, you know, I had sex with these two amazing Ukrainian women all night, barely got any sleep. And, you know, does not work, so he has to take him out. The, I, I like Sky saying, be nice. Can you be nice? And let's see. And, and we do learn, you know, I, I gotta admit, at first I thought, oh, the... The guy giving the orders is doing this for kicks, but no, he was, you know, the the guy the the, the guard does actually need to cooperate with Ward. It does not work well to knock him out. And yeah, we don't actually learn by the end of the episode the thing that you know the picture that is taken, but you know, might be ancient, might be alien, might even be ancient aliens. And yeah, I'm I'm excited to find out. And and the thing, you know, turns out the handler was also being controlled by someone else. And this could maybe also help explain, you know, oh, apparently he makes like typos. Yeah, if you're really concerned that you're gonna have your your head blown up any second now if you make a mistake, that might make you make typos. Um, I think that might be about what I have to say. Um, right, uh, yeah, and so we have the, the very little bit at the end with, uh, you know, I, I, yeah, Sky is, you know, willing to help Fitz cheat at cards, but scares Fitz off when she tells him, you know, the the um, I'll be able to see you without clothes, you know. And then she does, and you know, she is pretty impressed by when she looks at Ward's, you know, cards. And considering how many like literally countless for some reason no one has been able to count how many times in movie history it's been a man spying on a woman against her will you know i can respect saying let's turn around let's have a woman spy on a guy you know and it has happened in at least one other joss whedon thing i am familiar with you know still don't love it um yeah I think that might be everything that I have to say about this episode. Um, I um, I quite like that it opened with this kind of mystery. Like we really have no idea, you know. Like like by the end of the episode, we can piece together what um, Akela must have done in that subway train, but it actually, you know, at first we really don't have a clue what it exactly, you know, happened there. Um, yeah, uh, at one point Phil says AC then. AC is like, you know, between all these social media apps that these darn young folk are using, we don't even have to, 
you know, do surveillance anymore, which, you know, considering all the, yeah, not, not really, a big, I appreciate it, you know, South Park went there too, I just, I don't really love a, a show that is so far not that critical of the government, having a government agent say, you know, I mean, people are practically doing this to themselves, you know, which, just gonna point out, that's very, that's, that's the kind of thing an abusive person says about their targets. But I think that is everything that I have. Oh, right, right. I like when, when Sky goes to, to AC and is like, you know, okay, so update, uh, there's no news. You know, she's just looking for an excuse to, to talk. And yeah, um, Right, I like the this thing of, you know, it's like, oh, will the night-night gun be ready in time? And it is, you know, and it's the kind of thing, like, we don't need to see every second of them working on it. We're told they're trying to make sure it's ready soon and, and you know, fits, like, falls asleep sitting there working on it. I guess I don't know. If, I'm not certain if it was the, the gun he was he was working on there, but, yeah. Um... I think that is right. Um, uh, I like the the detail that the the innkeeper is very very happy with Akela. You know, oh she, you know, she told me I had a tumor, and, and you know, and it's you know that shows that when she has freedom, Akela is still using it for good. You know, because she has the you know the the thing with her eye allows her to to see you know, what people are really like on the inside. And, you know, her telling the innkeeper that, you know, the the guy, the, her handler can't pick up audio. He has no idea what it was that, you know, was said there. And, yeah, I, I appreciate that little hint that there is more going on because it's like wait she tells this woman you have a tumor you should get medical you know yeah you should get medical attention but she also like kills these guys who or i guess do we wait did she crap i forget i think it was said yeah i think she did kill the, the all the masked men in the in the train you know and it is this thing of like, once you realize it, you, you get, oh, she was forced to kill them. You know, there's that line when she's dealing with May, and she's like, you know, only one of us is going to leave this room alive, kind of thing. But right, right, I can't believe I'm almost, yeah. I really liked, you know, when when Ward, you know, he's he's on, yes, you are both on comms right now. You know, and he he accidentally looks into a mirror, and then we get like the the we see what Ward saw on the on on a monitor, and we see like a guy like shocked. You know, we we see like his reflection, not quite like a good look at him not until afterwards. And and Ward is like cut the lock, cut the wire right now. You know, it's, uh, and, and, yeah, you know, Ward, not known for a sense of humor, so when he says that, they know, oh, okay, this is literally, like, in a, in a second or two, that thing's gonna blow up, so, it just, yeah. Uh, you know, cause it's like, you know, weeks, but, oh, I don't know, should we cut the blue wire or the red wire, but no, it just jumps to, oh, cut, cut, right now, you know, kind of, kind of thing, I, I liked that subversion of expectation. I think that is everything. So I, I guess just briefly, I want to say I, I like the that you know Sky is you know starting to to think more positively of of Ward, not in all 
manner, or not in all ways, but, you know, still some. Um, yeah, that is it for this one. So, I would like to do one tomorrow. We'll see how it all goes, and if not, certainly Saturday. So, until either of those, make mine marble.